Educators know that assessment is a critical part of teaching and learning. For such an important task, educators need an assessment system they can trust. One that provides reliable, valid data. Here at ATI, our mission is to create technology to promote learning. And that means bridging the gap between research and practice. We conduct ongoing research and use state-of-the-art statistical methods such as item response theory to provide accurate measures of student ability, growth, and achievement. Item response theory, or IRT, is an approach to designing and scoring assessments. IRT is used by virtually every major educational test, including state tests, PARC, and SBAC, as well as college and career readiness tests like SAT and ACT. Perhaps the most critical insight from IRT is that a student's response to a test item can tell us about their underlying ability. So for example, an item that asks a student to add 5 plus 5 can tell us more broadly about the student's underlying ability in math. Using IRT, we can also evaluate the characteristics of items, such as how difficult the item is, how well it discriminates between students of different abilities, and whether a student is likely to get it right simply by guessing. We can then use this information to build reliable, valid assessments and generate scores that are precise estimates of student ability. ATI has built IRT technology right into Galileo and uses IRT techniques to design thousands of unique assessments each year. So by using the IRT technology embedded directly in Galileo, we can provide the groundbreaking comprehensive assessment system needed to support data-informed decision-making. So we know IRT opens a world of possibilities when it comes to assessment design, but what does IRT provide when it comes to scoring? While many assessment systems only provide raw scores, such as number correct or percent correct, raw scores can only tell you about a student's performance on a specific set of items on a particular test. Say a student scored 60% correct on a test. Is that good or bad? Well, it depends on whether the items were easy or difficult. If the test had included different items, would the students still have scored 60% correct? There's no way to know, because raw scores don't tell us anything about a student's underlying ability or how the student would have performed on similar items. What if the student scored 70% correct on the next test? Did their ability increase, or was the second test just easier? You can see how it would be easy to misinterpret raw scores, especially when trying to measure student growth across different tests. In contrast to other systems, Galileo provides an IRT-based developmental level scale score, just like the state test. We call it the DL score for short. The DL score is a measure of a student's underlying ability, not just their performance on a specific set of items. The DL score also takes into account the characteristics of the items on the test. So a student who scores 60% correct on a difficult test will have a higher DL score than a student who scores 60% correct on an easy test. Galileo also places the DL score on a common scale across tests. So if a student's DL score increases from one test to another, we know the student's ability has actually increased. That's a true measure of student growth. How does the information provided by the IRT score help educators plan instruction, intervention, and enrichment? How does it help students learn and reach their potential? The DL score places the student on a developmental path that represents all the skills they need to learn in, say, fifth grade math. By knowing where the student is on that developmental path, we know what they've learned, what they're ready to learn next, and what's a little further off down the line. Educators can use this information to plan appropriately challenging activities for each student based on their current level. And when you meet students where they are and build on their successes, they're more engaged and motivated to learn. Through Galileo, ATI puts the power of IRT in the hands of educators. And when educators make decisions informed by the right data, students are on the right path for success.